CGTN. See the difference. A local Ghanaian cloth, Kente, has widely portrayed the country's pride and heritage for centuries. In the U.S., it has long been worn by the African-American community during important ceremonies like graduations. In June, U.S. lawmakers wore Kente cloth as they looked to pass a bill on police reforms following the death of George Floyd, an African-American who died in police custody. This led to an increased interest in the cloth. CGTN's Nabil Ahmed Rufai tells us more about the Kente's significance and history. Footwork and hand coordination, both vital ingredients in the making of the indigenous Ghanaian cloth, Kente. Samuel Bampo has been weaven since he was a child. Now at the age 72, he still makes a living by producing these colorful cloths. <laughs> One cannot learn how to weave the kente within six months. It takes many years to perfect this craft. There are lots of designs and you need to keep them all in memory. We don't have the designs on paper to serve as reference. The kente cloth is part of the heritage of the Ashanti people in Ghana and was initially worn only by royalty. Ordinary Ghanaians now wear it during special occasions like weddings. Each block pattern and color has a distinct name and meaning. We made this design in celebration of the love between Kwame Nkrumah and his wife Fatia. We named it Fatia Befits Nkrumah. These strips of kente are joined together to make the full cloth. Legend has it that a spider spinning a complex web inspired the earliest kente techniques and designs, and you can see why. A lot of precision and mind work is required to weave the cloth. One like this can take up to two days to make. Weavers say they take two months or more to make six yards of the kente cloth. A full cloth can be sold for as much as $350, depending on its designs and colors. We import all the threads we use for weaving the kente cloth. This makes it very expensive to produce. It could be less expensive if we're able to produce the threads locally. The traditional weaving of kente cloth has existed since the 11th century in Ghana. It has defied any form of technological innovation. Samuel says, despite the advanced technology in cloth making, the handmade kente cloth should continue to be preserved to protect the Ghanaian heritage. Nabil Ahmed Rufai, CGTN, Accra, Ghana.